Well, it's quite an emotional day for me. I'm at my old school. I, I used to be a teacher. I left teaching because it was all about the children with teaching, and I, I sort of wanted a job that was all about me. However, today, I've decided to come back to my old school, Hazelwick, just for one day, to teach one lesson, because I think I've got a load of technology that's going to be able to demonstrate that I have, at my fingertips, the classroom of the future. Yes, who's back? One of the things I hated about teaching was having to get in early to greet the kids. But luckily, I found a way of doing that without even having to leave my favourite staff room chair. <sighs> Lovely. Step forward, or should I say roll forward, gadget number one. The double robot allows me to speak directly to the kids. And what's cool about this gadget is, I can do this from anywhere with a 4G or Wi-Fi connection. Morning class, it's Mr Ranganathan here, your teacher for today. It is register time, guys. Hi. So, what I need you to do is I need you to form an orderly queue, which you are doing, exceptional work, nothing more than I'd expect from Hazelwick. Uh, and then I want you to register yourselves using the fingerprint scanner by the door, OK? Yeah. See you soon, bye! This is quality. The kids have registered themselves automatically and then they know exactly where to sit because we put little LED tickers on their desks. It's incredible. And all the whole time, I'm just sitting having a cup of tea, mate. <laughs> quality. I wish we had this when I was teaching. I guess I've kept them waiting long enough. It's time for me to show my real face. I'm going to spell something wrong, I just know it. As I've walked up to the classroom, I've got the fear, like when I first ever did teaching, I'm really, ner I'm really nervous. Hello, hi. I'm Mr. Ranganathan. How are we? Good. Good. Very exciting to be here. Uh, what do you think of the uh, registration? Good? Yeah. yeah. It's cool. a bit lazy. How is it lazy? It takes about five seconds. What's your name? Nathan. Nathan. I can see it on your little thing there. I can spot you as a troublemaker. Um, <laughs> I'm very excited, guys, and you should be excited too. Good. I know I am. Anyway, so, guys, because today we're going to be talking about fractions. <laughs> That's exactly the level of uh, excitement I was hoping for. <laughs> if you take your little high-tech pens, open your books, what I want you to do is copy down what I'm doing. How do you do this? Hey, let's record your waistband. What do you have, Luke? See the dot? Forget your bog-standard interactive whiteboard. For this lesson, I've got a massive 84-inch 4K touchscreen interactive board from Promethean. His sweater is obstructing my vision. <laughs> Not only can I write on it, I can have multiple windows open, including any web page I like. That's just my website. I've got a tour currently on sale, so uh, please do check it out. It hasn't yet sold out. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> Almost surprised. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you five questions, and then you're going to just get on with them. Now, normally at this point, if I was teaching a lesson, I'd have to wander around and see what they're up to. But thanks to these live scribe pens, I can actually just zoom in on any notebook I want to and see what they're up to. Um, Johanna, obviously mastered it. I'm very impressed. Well done. Uh, Alice? Yeah? Well, I see here that you've written, Sir looks pretty rough today, right? <laughs> can I just explain? I'm just a little bit tired and I've got a lazy eye, all right? <laughs> so, that's, that's the reason. <laughs> So, were you actually a math teacher before? Oh. I'll have you know that I was rated on some of my best days as average. <laughs> but today, I'm going to go above average and take this lesson into the 22nd century. We're going to be using the Samsung Gear virtual reality headsets and an Optima touchscreen projector to help teach these kids about our solar system. Question number one is, I'd like you to tell me the difference between the diameter of the Sun and the diameter of Venus. Go. The wearer of the headset will travel around a three-dimensional galaxy, weeding out facts and figures to the rest of their team. Venus. One, two, 104. Their team's job is to add up those numbers as quickly as possible using the projector's touchscreen surface. One is five. Eight, three, one. Uh, you're both correct. So well done, but the girls answered first, so the point goes to them. Congratulations. So, question number two is, I want you to tell me the total diameter of Mars and Jupiter. Go. Mars. Uh, where is Mars? <laughs> is it that way? Mars is 6792. Okay, the boys have got the first figure down. 
Seven, carry the one. Yeah. Nine, four, one, go. Uh, okay, girls, stop there because the boys have got the correct answer. It's one all. You've yeah. got yeah. Okay, it's time for the final deciding question. So that's it for me. I'm out of here. And whilst the kids have been great and the tech has made teaching easier, I don't think I'll be returning to school anytime soon. Oh, fractions. I've forgotten to set the kids some homework. Hello kids, uh, Mr Rang and Nathan here. I'm afraid I've got to go, uh, I've got a gig to get to. So, sorry about that, but uh, that's the bad news. Uh, the good news is I've set you some homework. So, make sure you get on with that. Anyway, thanks very much, I've got to go. See you later, bye! <laughs> Thank God that's done. Mate, I don't even have a gig. Can you just take me home? Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, I mean, you're looking skinnier like that, but I'm not sure it's the right camera angle for you, Rom. All right, don't take the mic, mate. Uh, would you like to actually come and have a conversation Stop skiving, Ranganathan. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, there we are. Hi. Hi, sir. Hi. Hello, sir. Yeah, hello. Um, kids can be cool, they were rather honest in that video. Yeah, I don't like kids, but... Um, <laughs> uh, no, it was good. But, I mean, the best one I liked the look of was that pen, so you can just spy on everything they're writing. Yeah, so basically, you know, normally, if you've got a class of, like, 34 or something like that, you've got one teacher, you're wandering around looking at what they're doing. With that, I could just see everything, you know, everything that everyone was doing. I could oh. bring up as many pages as I wanted. Oh, right. And then you can give instant feedback. And that, you know, helps keep children engaged. You know, Spine. they know that you can see what they're doing. It keeps them focused. And if they're getting feedback the whole way through the lesson regularly, then they're more likely to be on task. So that I'm fully on board with. You can spy on them, basically. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. you're making it sound creepy. <laughs> What about the glasses? Those amazing... Well, those you know... glasses were great. I think whenever you have anything that increases children's interactivity, if they're engaged in something, it's great. The only thing I would say about those goggles is, is that there are only two for that whole class. You've got two people wearing goggles and then you've got 30 kids watching two kids with goggles on. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what, yeah. what you really need is you need to have enough so that they're all involved in it. You know, in reality, if you tried to keep teaching lessons like that with just two sets of goggles, there's no way that you would keep the whole class engaged. He takes this quite seriously. He does. It's like he, he used to be he a cares. teacher or something. It's like he really cares. So, are you, are you going to go back to the classroom anytime soon? No, uh, you know, the, 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 the reason I got into teaching was, was mainly because of the holidays. And, and actually. <laughs> so, is it hard work being a comedian? No, dying on stage every night is quite easy. <laughs> As I did there with that comment. <laughs>